Good morning. Hey, it's Melissa Miller here at Miller Rustic Sawmill. I am out at the sawmill this morning, um, and I am joining you here on our page live. You haven't seen our faces for a while. We have been very, very consumed, but that does not mean we are stopping the planning for Sawdust Fest. There is a lot to do between now and then, and um, I just want to go live here and share with you um some of you are not familiar you're going to be getting sick of hearing about sawdust fest because i plan to be on here every day talking about it or talking about a maker that's going to be here talking about the event so that if you don't know what sawdust fest is by the end of the week or the end of the day you will um it's going to be loud out here sorry it rained and poured here um yesterday last night so it is very muddy out here at the sawmill. Um, the sawmill sits out on our farm. We live outside of King City. We moved the sawmill. Many of you have followed us for years, so you know that we moved uh, the sawmill operation to our farm. Gosh, I don't even know now. Maybe going on three years ago, possibly. I, I, it's hard for me. I lose track of time because we are always moving something. We are always doing something we are always building something and i just can't keep it all straight so um good morning i see lots of you hopping on make sure you hit that share button um the guys are running the mill this morning they're doing some custom cutting so if you have not heard me talking about sawdust fest you will over the next several weeks um we have a link for all of the event details on our website. You can check out our website. It's millersrusticsawmill.com. That is so easy to remember. Um, and then you'll find a tab up at the top that says Sawdust Fest. So you might have to hit the little three dots or something. Good morning, Bev. Hey, Sean. Um, hey, Randy. I see a lot of you hopping on. Thank you. We haven't been live on here for a while. We've been a little consumed with a lot of health stuff. Um, but I had some time this morning to go live. So um, <clears throat> there's Miss Nancy Campbell. She's traveling in for Sawdust Fest from Minnesota. And um, I know our friend Abby is coming in from Alabama. Um, I've had some others who are coming in from Illinois. Um, so we are super Betty. She's coming in from Illinois. So we are super excited to have some out-of-staters coming in for our event. Um, our event is going to consist of some hand-selected demonstrators that we have chosen to come and share their skills and their talents and um, it happens on Father's Day weekend uh, if you choose to come Friday evening we are doing um, a VIP kickoff kickoff party and um, that night we will have our good friends um, Rick and Mandy Hotz and their family playing for us it's like a great big um, fun family dinner with music and friends and um, amazing food we are having uh, and an excellent caterer uh, do a prime rib dinner so it is a ticket only event and we are selling those tickets so if you are coming Friday night to our VIP um, night and you want a ticket there I've got to do a recount today because they are selling um, but if you're looking for something fun to do on Father's Day I can tell you I think most of our demonstrators will be at our um, VIP dinner so you will get a chance to meet some of the makers before Saturday you will get to hang out with us and our family and our friends um, that are also coming and it is excellent excellent catered food it's a prime rib dinner with other options for sure if you don't like prime rib so um, we we have a great evening to uh, celebrate the kickoff of the next day uh, sawdust fest last year was so much fun uh, we are in King City Missouri so if you are, <coughs> excuse me, if you have a dad, if you have a husband, if you have a father, if you have a grandfather, um, if you have a son who's a dad, come celebrate Father's Day weekend in our little town and hang out and you'll get to see, um, I'm trying to think of how many guest demonstrators, I've, I've added another one. So um yes sean i did see that you got the hr department got a big old table you took a bunch of tickets for uh, vip night so um fantastic and um i i've got to do a recount on my makers because we are running out of space i've added some this year some of them um that were here last year i think i have two that weren't able to make it back 
but we do have a scroll saw artist, Mr. Randy Noble. We have a knife maker, Mr. Terry Smith. We have a chainsaw artist. Um, he's from Weston, TJ Jenkins. We have our pottery guy back and everyone wanted to know. So my rule for selecting makers, <clears throat> I have some criteria that I try to meet with my makers always. And some of it's up here and some of it's right here. Um, but some of it is also one of the things that I had whenever I was, we were choosing makers for this event is that everything, anybody that we ask to come participate, they're gonna demonstrate their skill. They're gonna be somebody that we know, we like, we trust. And they are somebody that is gonna do something that has to do with wood or sawdust, right? So our everybody, I've had some people ask me, how does this pottery guy tie into sawdust fest? Well, he uses sawdust in the firing part and the cooling part. He uses a big old barrel of sawdust um, in the red coup firing. So <coughs> that is how. And he, whenever he offered to come last year, that was my answer to him. We talked, he has been a huge supporter of our business since we started. He hails from our small town of King City, Missouri. And he has his own pottery studio in, out, out in Oklahoma. And, um, he, you, you know, will always stop by. He has stopped by our business for years since we started. And he said he would come help me get Sawdust Fest started. And I said, well, there's just one problem, Steve. I don't know what you're gonna do that has anything to do with wood. And he's like, oh, I do. He said, I've already thought about it. And he said, I use sawdust, Melissa. So um, it, it's cool. Uh, we have a wood turner. Um, we have, um, let me think about this now. I'm gonna, I don't wanna leave anybody out. We have a wood carver. We have um, another um, woman. It's a husband and wife team that will be here and they will be sharing some of their woodworking skills as well as, as, well as their wood carving skills and painting. My mom will also be here, um, God willing, for painting. And uh, we're gonna get her up here. Uh, who am I missing? I just, I don't want to miss anybody and I feel like I'm missing somebody. I said the wood turner. Um, my guys, okay? The guys are going to be doing a sawmill demonstration. So if you've never seen a sawmill demonstration, you are going to want to come. We caravan out here to the mill, which means you have to follow us. Uh, we don't have a bus. We don't have anything like that to transport you. Um, we are out in the country about seven miles and um, it's down a gravel road. So I tell people, if you wanna come for the sawmill demonstration, wear some um, good shoes. Um, depending on the weather, it could or could not be muddy out here. We've got gravel, but um, it also, um, we're on a farm, we're out in the country. So you need to make sure you're not wearing high-heeled shoes or anything. You wanna wear something that's appropriate for sawmill wear, right? So that's boots, tennis shoes, something for a little uneven ground and um, something that if you're coming to our mill or you've been here before you know that everything around us is dusty so um i try to warn people don't wear your sunday best clothes um if you're coming in town for the weekend for sawdust fest uh to the north of us danbury missouri does an excellent father's day car show this is their 50th year of that and um so if you're staying in the area and you want to make a weekend of it we've got Friday night covered for you for dinner. We've got Saturday for fun, and then Sunday is the car show. So it's a little hidden gem of a weekend, and a lot of times there's not a lot to do for Father's Day weekend. So we chose Sawdust Fest to go right along with that excellent car show right up the road. So if you're a car guy or a car gal, um, it is it is one of the best around, and I, I'm not even making that up. I've been going to it not quite for 50 years, but probably for about 45 since I was little. My family always did it. A lot of my family helps put it on. So um, I like to support them as well. They're just so close to us. So um, who wants to see the mill run? We're gonna walk out here and uh, the guys are cutting up um, a custom log that is going to be used for um, a new home build. It is a log off of the customer's property and um, that's what we're doing this morning. So I thought I would come out here. You're gonna have to bear with me while I walk and try not to get in the mud. Bucky put down a big board for me to step onto. Um, the sun will dry it out, the wind will dry it out, and um, it, won't take a, it won't take a lot of time, but I know it's supposed to rain quite a bit off and on. 
Um, it is a fun family weekend, so um, you're going to probably get sick of me talking about it on here, but I've had a lot of questions about what the heck is sawdust best. And the best overview I can give you is on our website. And uh, you can find all of the pictures from last year. Uh, we didn't want it to end. That is how fantastic it was. We were all sad that it was over. It was such a great day. Um, okay, it's going to get loud. I'm going to turn this around and walk in here. And we're going to just pray that nothing breaks down because there's this old jinxing, uh, you know, the guys think that I jinx them every time I'm live out here. So they always blame me when something breaks down and I've been live. So this is my current situation. I'm walking on a board down below, like balance beam style. Okay, I'm going to turn this around and we're going to walk through here. Make sure you hit the share button and share this video. So the sun is shining. That's how we make the boards. It's Bucky. Here's the 
There goes the shutdown for a minute. Hopefully that's nothing that I jinxed. Because they always say I jinx stuff. I'm gonna get back out of here where it's gonna be quiet, or more quiet, maybe. Try not to fall in the mud. That would be my luck. Um, so that's a little taste of what you can see if you make it up here um, for Sawdust Fest, June 17th. Um, it's a Saturday, it's a Saturday before Father's Day. And um, we will be doing a sawmill demonstration. I think we have it set for, I think, 1.30. So we will leave town probably right at 1, um, if not a little bit before. Uh, the guys usually, last year they tried to eat lunch. And then um, we have a caravan and we just meet up on Main Street. We make it easy. We try to have everybody follow us out that wants to go. And um, do you have anything you want to say about Sawdust Fest? I'm muted. I was muted. Thank you. I want to say that again. Oh, well, I'm a Sawdust Fest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got four extra belt sanders to ramp that day. So if you want to rent one to race and don't have time to build one or don't want to mess with it, we have we have some that we can race. Okay. So, and the rent's really cheap. We're just wanting people to have fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. If you want to race one of your own, um, make sure you ask or get you know get with us and ask for details. Um, the belt sander races. Uh, we have a location off of the street this year for that, and um, we have details. We have a modified class and a stock class, and um, we'll have a small entry fee, but um, the there will be prizes, um, cash prizes for the first and second place winners of each stock or of each class. So um, we are always looking for belt sander races. Um, the guys will be doing a really nice demo of what they, you just saw with the sawmill running. Um, yeah, Bucky, uh, Bucky does a great job of walking through that and how we do things. So you can learn a lot by making it to the sawmill demonstration. So I don't think we talked about that a lot last year beforehand, but it was one of the favorite things I think that we heard some feedback on everybody loved. So, all right. So anyway, you'll probably get sick of us talking about Sawdust Fest. We would love to have you come to our little town on June 17th and hang out for Father's Day weekend. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow showing something else. Um, 
We picked up a new addition for the shop. We're gonna have it look a little bit different in there too, um, just because uh, we like to change things up sometimes. And um, we're already praying for great weather for June 17th. Last year it was a beautiful day. Um, so I think that's about it. But let me show you. I'll just show you up here on the farm. This is This is where we're at. So we are out in the country. There are a lot of the wind turbines around us. And um, so you'll, if you're coming in for Sawdust Fest, um, you'll come out here to uh, the farm if you get here for, for the um, sawmill demonstration. If so. you were at the old mill, straight over your truck is the old sawmill. Oh yeah, you can. But you I can see it. You can barely see it from here. I don't know if I can even zoom, zoom, zoom. To the right of that cedar, yep. Right there, there's a... There's That's our old sawmill. Yeah, how far away is that? Like three and a half miles. So about three and a half miles is where we used to be, if any of you came out there. So we are just not that far from there. You guys moved everything over here, built a building, just have done a lot of stuff in the last several years. Always ever changing. But um, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you share this video. Get it out there. To, um, put hashtag Sawdust Fest in it if you if you would. And um, feel free to check out our website, MillerTrustingSawmill.com. And you can see so many cool event photos from last year. We also have a beard contest. Not a beer contest, but a beard. A worst and best beard contest. We so, have a beer yeah, the guys wanted to have a beer contest, but I did not know how to do that, and I thought that could turn out really bad. So um, there will be whiskey tasting in town. Um, my brother-in-law has um, a really cool shop uh, at the corner. Some of you have been there, and he's got an amazing selection of uh, alcohols, whiskeys, wines, brandies, gins, everything that he has curated um, himself. And a lot of them are from Missouri, so um, you can do, do that there in his shop. We don't know, we're, we're praying that we may have something going on with the new bar. Um, there's there's gonna be some fun new stuff this year. So we're working on some things and it's gonna be, it's just a great time anyway. So come come hang out um, in our little town of King City, Missouri on June 17th. If you want VIP tickets for Friday night, you're gonna want to go to our website and make sure you grab those. Um, Not a lot left, are there? The, the list, I've got to do a recount today. The list is dwindling. So we only had 100 seats to sell. And um, last year we were overpacked. Yeah. So this year we're being very strict about the 100, 100 tickets. And because we almost ran out of food. We had one piece of prime rib. Like we couldn't even believe it. But we were quite a bit over on our people. We so because we couldn't people. say no to people. Yeah, yeah. Our caterer had planned for 100. And I think we ended up the week of allowing some people that we didn't want to say no to to come so um, but it, it was perfect it was perfect so um, anyway uh, make sure you grab those tickets if you are wanting to be here for Friday night and attend that dinner so um, thanks for watching I hope you guys have a great day bye